Well, we, what we take from it is it wasn't nearly good enough and that we were all disappointed and um, that we need to learn from that and absolutely never allow that to happen again. Okay, but what, uh, what do you think it was that, that led to that, you know, not being up to the challenge? I'm not sure. You know, we're having a little bit of a hard time identifying exactly what it was. So, you know, but, you know, we'll make sure, again, that in all ways to be a real team that in tough games you need to be – ready to go, you need to be from the start, ha have, be ready to put everything out there for your teammates and put your heart on your sleeve and, and really go after it. So uh, it was a bit perplexing uh, because, you know, for me, since I've been here, I don't think I've seen it at that level ever. Um, so, you know, but we, we made sure to, to be very honest with ourselves and to address it and make sure that, again, it never happens again. Quick turnaround. Is it, a, is it a good chance for you guys to get back on the field and put this one behind you very quickly? Yeah, I think um, you know we're we're desperate. I think to to play again to to prove that that's not who we are, to prove to prove to ourselves that you know we're committed in all ways to to be the team that we want to be, and you know so I think if you had to sit on that game for too long, it would be very uh, bothersome. So it's a chance for us to go out on Wednesday night against a team that will be equally desperate. And and we know how, uh, how that sets up for a dangerous game, a difficult game. So in all ways, we have to uh, uh, put everything out there and, and, and have confidence and, and show what we're all about. Kumar said it was the first time in his professional career he was ever taken out of a match like that. What went into that decision? How difficult is it given you don't usually take out a defender in a yeah. game and it's usually someone who's been so important to the squad? He has been incredibly important. And, you know, I said after the game that uh, I could have taken five, six guys out, and that was part of the discussion. Um, uh, and I've never taken anyone out at, before half. I've never even discussed that. You know, and, and the fact that I was discussing that, it means that, you know, we weren't we weren't happy with the overall performance, not just one guy, but but everyone. So, you know, that's that's if you're going to take away uh, uh, something to now help draw on is the fact that we there's no finger point as it was one guy. It was all of us. It was all. And I, and I include myself in that. So we're going to make sure going forward that that we understand how to put it all out there. So, um, yeah. We'll be ready on Wednesday. I know that. I know this team will rebound in a really good way, and we're going to go after it. We're going to be ready to go. Maybe I was asleep at the wheel, but Ronald Zubar, uh, why was he Why was he a scratch? I didn't see that during the week. Uh, he just picked up a little something in his groin. Um, so, you know, we had him out on the field today, and he looked good. So, you know, uh, that means that I think he's uh, potentially available for Wednesday, but he's day-to-day. You know, he, he, he trained all week and then just some, picked up something on Thursday. So we had to kind of scramble at the last minute to make some adjustments. So with, obviously there's three games remaining before you get to the Copa America Centenario break. With two games quickly this week, of course, you're home against Toronto next week. Uh, what do you have to do to you know, try and keep things going forward and more positive? Yeah, well... It's one game at a time right now. So right now, looking at Chicago again, uh, we we just need to to all all I want is you know is for us to be a real team. And so when we step on the field, that we give everything we have. And if we come up short on certain days, when we throw our best out there, that's okay, right? But it has to always be that it's our best. And so we knew that Friday wasn't our best. And I and again, I I, I know that I know that Wednesday will be. And uh, of course, again, Chicago coming over. What have you seen from film of the fire with Panovich as their uh, their first uh, coach? Yeah, he. Coach yeah, I think Panovich has has built in a lot of tactical flexibility to what they do. So sometimes they play, whether you want to call it five or three in the back, sometimes four, sometimes two up top, sometimes three, sometimes one. So they they become a hard team to prepare for because you're not sure exactly tactically what you're going to look at. So we went through some of that today at different different ways they try and play. Um, you know, we do think that this can be a game where where we can have a lot of the ball and the game can be on our terms, often like it is at Red Bull Arena, but with a calm on the field and some of their explosive attacking players, it steps up to challenge us in, in ways that we've now not done well. So um, it's, a, it's a game where I think we, we have to be very aware, very alert, and, and, and expect a team that is now in all ways desperate and, and dangerous. 
Ronald's not able to go. Is Chris Duvall the guy back there? Or is, it doesn't seem like Gideon's necessarily factoring in right now. No, he, he's a, he has become more of a factor. So we've just tried to get him a little bit more up to speed and a little bit more fit and, and a little bit clearer. Um, and he's gotten better every day. So uh, Gideon, you know, we chose not because we, we just didn't want to throw him into this game right away. Uh, but he would become an option uh, for Wednesday if Ronald's not ready. It seems like he made a bit of a statement uh, bringing Gonzalo into the, the starting 11 and, and dropping Lloyd, who has a lot of success against DC. But what did you, what did you see from him? Were you happy with his overall play? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we, we thought that we could gain certain advantages by having Gonzalo on the field and being dangerous a little bit and putting their back line on their heels a little bit. Um, but we really didn't even get a grasp on the game to, to start to test that. And that being said, he was still quite dangerous a few times in the first half. So, um, you know, overall... It's a hard one to judge because we just were flat as a team. He wasn't at his best either, you know, so it, it, it was, uh, I think, uh, hard to evaluate. But knowing forward, we know that Gonzalo is going to be a dangerous guy and going to be an important guy. And, you know, we got to just figure out how to now use him and, and now ways that benefit him and the team. Yeah, Chicago, they're a team that struggled not just this year, but last year too, near the bottom of the table. But they still were able to give you some problems on, yeah. on the counter and things like that. Is there anything you take away from those matchups last year that you can? That you can learn well, certainly that? we know that. You know, I don't have to tell the team that a comms dangerous. They they're very aware and familiar with that. Igbo and Ike, you can also put in that category. He had two goals at, against us in Chicago. So dealing with their explosive attacking players will be extremely important, extremely important. And again, we know that the game will be played on our terms for much of the match, but that doesn't necessarily guarantee three points. So our ability to be uh, very alert, execute a game plan, deal with moments of transition, and now find ways to get a lead and, and expand on it, those will all be key elements to us getting the three points.